what does on-chain reputation mean to you? Like start off with almost with like a, a definition or a framework for how you think through it. So uh, I think critically the most important thing about building Web3 uh, identity and reputation is that it's portable. And then the other critical piece to this is that it's also uh, tra transparent. And then finally, I think we also need to talk about you know, permissioned or privacy on, on these things. So if you really want to build better reputation systems in Web3 than what we have in Web2, you want to build reputation systems that address the problems uh, that we have with Web2. And that means that you want something that's going to be portable. You want something that uh, you're going to have control over as far as privacy. And then you want something that is verifiable so that it's in some way that it's transparent. And when I first started working with reputation and blockchain was a very long time ago. And it was actually the very first apps that I began building inside the blockchain space were on Bitcoin and they were reputation apps. And the very first app that I ever built uh, was, an app, was an app that allowed people to leave reviews for uh, their purchases that they made with Bitcoin. And this is back when people thought that you would be buying your coffee with Bitcoin and you could make a purchase and then when you made a purchase, uh, you could then write a review and then sign a transaction using the same key that you made that purchase with at that coffee shop in this instance, and then say, you know, this was a wonderful, uh, this was a wonderful place to come uh, for you know lunch break. And back then, this is all the way back 2013. Yelp was a very popular uh, application up and coming, and one of the biggest problems was around. Um, fake reviews. And so that's a subset of reputation. And what we're trying to solve is how can you make sure that when people are leaving reviews, they're being honest and that they've actually been there so that you know it's actually real. And it's just striking to me that here we are almost a decade later in the blockchain space, and this still hasn't been developed to its potential. And blockchains, uh, I think, have the ability to enable this uh, portable, private, transparent reputation um, on the internet. And it was actually how I uh, first got excited about the space. You're listening to The Unstoppable Podcast, the go-to place for everyone to learn about the latest innovations in Web3, NFTs, and the decentralized web. Welcome to the Metaverse.